Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 4th through the 10th of June, 2023. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Virgo out there, so do take what resonates for you and just simply leave the rest for someone else. Also, keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop in a general reading. It's not unusual. So just get in where you fit in. Please don't try to force yourself into a reading that is not designed for you. All right, and also I want to let you guys know that I am changing up the way that I do the bonus reading, and I'm going to do it based on likes. So if you guys are hoping to get a bonus reading this week, um, do hit that like button. All right, Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Virgo? Virgo. All right, Virgo, you are starting out with the Three of Pentacles. You have the Emperor and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so you're really bossing up in your life here. I like this for you. I feel like um, you're cooperating, I just heard, with the universe. So that's, that's a good thing. That's a very good sign. Um, also, I'm seeing that you're really taking charge of your life. Some of you could be starting up your own business or your own endeavor of some sort, or you could have gotten a promotion. Um, I am seeing that you're releasing something, though. There could be some uh, instability in your life. You might be experiencing a little bit of worry about... Um, Maybe some worry about uh, finances for some of you that could be causing uh, feelings of instability. But I see you working very hard, and I'm also seeing that you're very much devoted to laying a foundation. It's like you're taking a stand here in your life, and it's good energy. Let's see who's in your energy. Spirit, show me who is in Virgo's energy. All right, so the person in your energy, we have the Six of Cups reversed. We have the Page of Swords in reverse and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. All right, so this is very different energy from yours. I'm not really even sure why this uh, is showing up in your energy. Um, because, I mean, you're, you're very positive in your energy here. And this person, I feel like they're trying to let go of either you or something from their past. Um, with the Page of Swords in the reverse, this person is not... Um, there's something they either don't know. But I feel like there's a lack of communication here with this person. So you may not even be talking with this person. They're a little bit unbalanced right now. And they're, they're trying to let go of something. It's like this person's trying to move forward in their life, but they're a little bit stuck. But I don't feel like you're that this person's even communicating with you. Or maybe they're not communicating these feelings towards you um, if they're trying to release you. This could be someone from your past, but it's not at all where your energy is. So let's see... Let's see the energy between the two of you. Ah, the Empress. Yeah, that's very much your energy. Very prosperous. Um, it's as if you are seated in your power. The Empress contains the energy of all four queens. And so it's like you've leveled up. Uh, I'm also seeing... I'm also seeing that you're very much balanced with your masculine and your feminine energies. The person in your energy lacks clarification. And I feel like they lack clarification about you. I don't feel like you're, you're communicating with this person, but somehow they're showing up in your energy. It's very odd. Um, let's see what's affecting this. Tell me what's affecting. Four of Cups in the reverse. The two of you may have been ignoring each other for quite a while. During this period, Virgo, I feel like you bossed up. You went forward. And this person, um, this person 
is kind of like in the dark. Your energies are so opposed. Um, so what's affecting the connection? You've both looked back at the past and what's affecting this connection is love. But I don't necessarily think it's with each other. There's an acknowledgement of love, but it's, um, I don't know, it's, it's like you may have found your counterpart, Virgo, and this person lacks clarity with regard to their counterpart. Yeah. They want love, but they're not quite sure how to find it or, or it hasn't found them. Um, let's see your outcome at the end of the week. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, there's um, a lack of, of communication. And there's... Um, <laughs> it's like the two of you aren't even talking, but you're in each other's energy. It's very strange. I don't recall having a reading like this before. Um, it's very strange. It's like things are not moving forward by the end of the week with regard to the connection. But I can understand why, because you have such high energy here, and their energy is, is honestly, it's very karmically related. They're in a karmic cycle, or, yeah, they're definitely in a karmic cycle, or they're receiving karma. I'm, I'm not sure. All right, so at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands in the reverse. This is underlying energy, so this is somebody that you had an ending with. But I feel like you've moved forward and you, you're building a foundation here with someone else, whereas this person is moving in silence and they're trying desperately to release you. So let's clarify. Um, Spirit, why is the Three of Pentacles here? I'm just confused why they would be showing up in your energy. Maybe there's something you need to know. I don't know. Um, Seven of Wands and the Tower. Okay. Okay, so there was an existing foundation with this person that has ended. I feel like you're, you've are you stood your ground here. It caused a Tower moment for you, possibly for other people as well, because I see you standing up to other people for some reason. And there was, it was a tower moment within this, this, uh, the foundation of this connection. It's like it was a battle. There was a battle here. Um, why is the emperor here? Five of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. You cut someone out. You cut someone out in order to, to come up. To, to meet up or to bring in, possibly, your counterpart. So you bossed up. You cut someone out. I feel like you're open to discussion with this person, but they're not talking. Um, yeah, you, you left this person out in the cold. So they may perceive you as being very cold and rejecting. But in truth, it's... It, it looks like this was destined. Um, why is the Four of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, you went another direction. And it was a battle. It, it caused a lot of conflict. But you're, you've released this person. You've released this person. The conflict may have created some instability in your life for a time. But you went in another direction. So why is this person showing up? Let's see. Um, Spirit, why is the Six of Cups in reverse? Okay, we have the Hierophant, Taurus, sign of Taurus, and the Lovers, sign of Gemini. Because this person feels you're a soulmate, they still want this connection with you. But they know they... They have to release this connection. Yeah, this person is still in love with you. Um, why is the Page of Swords in reverse? Okay. 
Well, that's the Page of Swords in reverse. Six of Swords. Yeah, they're not investing in the connection any longer. And they are moving forward. But they there's a lack of knowledge in, in how to, to proceed forward. Because they want to proceed forward with you. So they know they have to move forward. But energetically, they're still connected. Enough so that they're showing up in your reading. Um, why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Two of Pentacles. King of Swords. They feel that they are your, your perfect mate. They feel like they are the best person for you. And they're very unbalanced. They're very unbalanced. So it's like somebody who is still secretly in love with you. They're not telling you this. They're not, um, they're not expressing any of this. In fact, you may not even be speaking with this person, but energetically, they're still very much in your energy. Um, and it's because they feel that they were the perfect person or you were the perfect person for them. And in their heart of hearts, they would like to bring this back together, but they're, it's like they understand that that's not a possibility because you are, you are with your divine partner, it looks like. You've taken charge of your life and you've moved forward. And I do feel that you are connected with your divine partner. So this person is trying to release you and move forward. They're not actually on the 3D. Um, in fact, I don't even think energetically they're trying to invest in the connection. But you're still very much in their energy and Obviously, they're in your energy, but I don't feel like that's from your doing because your focus is not on this person at all. Let's um, let's look at the connection. I don't feel like you're making any any movement towards this person, or that they're making movements towards you. It's more of an energetic thing. It's weird that they're they're showing up. I would have expected the person you're involved with to show up. There might be something here that still needs to be dealt with. I don't know. All right, let's see what we've got. The Empress again. The Page of Pentacles. Six of Wands and the Three of Wands reversed. Mm. This person feels like you, they put you on a pedestal, Virgo. They definitely put you on the pedestal, and they may not be telling you this, but they <laughs> they wanted things to work out between the two of you. They know they have to let you go. They have to release you. Um, I, I feel as if you, in your energy, there was a tower moment here for you. And I feel like you you had to take charge of this situation. And I do feel that it caused a lot of conflict, not only with this person, but within... Because um, I see you having to stand your ground against a lot of people. You're not waiting for this person. You're You're very much in that Empress energy. You're in the energy of receiving. You have a, a very high self-esteem. I mean, your energy is really, really good. You've kind of bossed up here, and you're very balanced. I am seeing that there could be communication between the two of you, but you're not looking for it or waiting for it. So this person could communicate in some small way with you. It's like they know they have to release you, but they're having a hard time doing it because ultimately they just really wanted this to be successful. Um, let's see why the Four of Cups is in reverse. Ten of Coins. Six of Coins. Yeah, you're willing to talk to this person. So what's affecting the connection? Um, you're all about this new person, Virgo. You've let 
you've left this person from your past, you've left them behind. This person wants to balance this connection out. They feel that they, they are your counterpart. You don't. And, and honestly, that's not what the cards are telling me either. Um, this person's going to get your attention it, in some manner. They're going to get your attention, at which point I feel like you're going to explain to this person that you're thinking long term and you're happy in the connection that you're in. This person's going to offer, they're going to be offering you stuff. They feel like you're, you're bread, you've breadcrumbed them. There's an indication this person could feel that you may have started up with this new person before there was an ending between the two of you, for some of you. I do feel like this person's going to get your attention. There's going to be a conversation. I don't see it being a big conversation. But I do see both of you acknowledging one another. And you explaining that you're in a long-term connection. That this connection is, is going somewhere. That it's not just a, a fling. They may, they may not know that. They, they may not understand or know the connection that you're in. Because you're very serious about somebody here that's in your energy. And it looks like you're already partnered with them. They want to balance this out, and I feel like um, I feel like they're going to find balance and move forward after a discussion. So maybe this person is still kind of holding on to a hope that there could be something between the two of you. <clears throat> Let's look at your outcome. Tell me the outcome for Virgo. Four of coins. The world. And justice. So we have air signs. Gemini, Libra is very strong. And Aquarius. Gemini is also very strong. Taurus is here. So what I'm seeing is that there's some sort of a small offer, but it gets turned down. This person may may try to connect with you again. I feel like it's going to be turned down. It's closing out a cycle. The cycle is finally closing out, most likely through a conversation, but it won't be anything big. It's going to be something small, but it's going to be an indication that this is closing out. Um, because you're letting go, you're releasing, you have the four of pentacles in the reverse. They have it in the upright. So I see, um, page of pentacles reverse page of pentacles in the upright. So this is going to close out that cycle. This is going to close it out. Um, you moving forward was a destined thing. The conflict was destined as well. I feel like you had internal conflict about um, releasing this person and moving in a new direction, but you feel that you're doing the right thing. I see you closing out a cycle with this person once and for all. Um, this person, <laughs> they're, they're kind of unbalanced. And I do see that, um, I do see that conversation may bring bring closure. It may bring balance for them. They're very guarded and they're going to come across as kind of, kind of, um, on the cooler side, but they are coming through honestly as well. <clears throat> and it will close this cycle out. So you're closing out a cycle here with somebody that is still holding on to you. Bottom of the deck is judgment in the reverse which tells me that you're not giving this a second chance. This is not a um, relationship that is going to be revived. You've moved on. They're still holding on. I think they need closure. And, and maybe, you know, that conversation is going to provide that closure. 
If that's the case, um, Virgo, be kind because it's very difficult for somebody to to come back into someone else's energy and, you know, try to have a renewal of a relationship. And we don't get closure very often anymore. Um, it's just people tend to ghost each other and that kind of thing. So if that does happen, be kind in how you handle this. But I see you moving forward, and I, I do see you moving forward with your counterpart. Like, it looks like a divine connection. And both you and this other person seem very, very happy, this person you're involved with. Any messages for Virgo? Any messages for Virgo? Something fell on the floor. One moment. All right. So we have clock. Needing time, taking time. Um, it's about healing. Time to heal. So this person needs some time to heal. Um, again, healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. So this person just needs some time. They're trying to heal. We have hand of cards. Taking a chance, um, being strategic, not showing your hand. So I feel like you played the hand that you had, and I do think that it was um, destiny for you. And then we have photograph, looking at your photos, missing you. Yeah, I think that's this person. I think this person misses you. I mean, so be gentle, Virgo, as you go, go through this, all right? All right, I hope this has been helpful for you, Virgo. If you've resonated with this in any way, um, be sure to hit that like button, and also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I would be so grateful. Until I see you guys in your next weekly reading, namaste.